right, everyone. So in today's video, I just want to talk about the Kingdom Hearts cloud versions that are going to be releasing in about a m less than a month now. They recently released a demo, I believe, yesterday, showing off, I guess, giving you a chance to see how your system might be able to handle the games. Now, with this, be advised, a lot of stuff that's going to be dependent on is your internet connection and whether or not you use Wi-Fi or LAN that will play a huge factor in in this. Now, for this video, I'm gonna do a Wi-Fi and a LAN comparison, see if there's really any major differences. Now, I have an Asus router and it is very strong, but at the same time, the Nintendo Switch's Wi-Fi connection isn't always as strong compared to my laptop. So I just wanna do a quick comparison here I got speed tests, just run a quick speed test. Now let's see, I have 300 down and 30 up. Okay, so it looks like, and I'm on the second floor. So obviously depending where your router is will play into a factor. So if you're playing Wi-Fi, you have to Keep that in mind where you're playing. Looks like it's pretty much on on the, on the nose with the speed. Definitely within margin of error. So let's do the same for the Nintendo Switch. Now I know the Nintendo Switch is not gonna have the fastest connection like my laptop is. Let's see what we have. Oh yeah, that's not even nowhere near as good. I tested it earlier and it was showing up as 70. Let's run this test one more time. Man. Yeah, so it's looking like that's the internet connection we're gonna have to work with. So, first one I would like to try is the uh, 1.5 and 2.5 version. Now, personally, I would have preferred to have seen something like this as an actual port, not a cloud version, especially this version that I'm playing right now. There's no reason why this couldn't have been a actual port like what other companies have done, like The Witcher, uh, Skyrim. There are plenty of other games out there that were ported that were from the similar era, if not newer. The Witcher is a fairly new game, while this these games have been released, what, 20 years ago, since they're celebrating the 20th anniversary. Literally, Kingdom Hearts 1 was released 20 years ago. So there's no reason why they couldn't have, other than, I guess, just uh, money. I personally would have would have uh, bought it, but that's just me. I would have preferred to have bought a physical version. I'm still on the fence about even getting a cloud version. I probably won't. I have many other ways to play this game, including on my laptop. So it's not really worth it, considering the biggest reason to play this is in handheld mode. And on, a, on, a, on another note, I'm very interested to see how the Steam Deck might be able to handle something like this. So, which I, which I have pre-ordered. So this is definitely probably not in the cards for me. But for everybody else, I would like to show you how this does run. So we're going to try running this on 50 megabytes down. So let's see how it goes. Uh, apparently, I tried this one too much. So you know what? Let's just do... Let's see if I can do... No, I want to save that one for one more time. Apparently you have a limited amount of times you can try it. So let's just see how this one handles 50 megabytes down. Now this was kind of, this was a much shorter version, much shorter game. It's almost like a long demo. And this came out before Kingdom Hearts 3. So 
you can't save this or a limited amount of times you could try. So I guess the limit is actually looks like three times. So you can access this three times is what it looks like. Okay, it's loading up. Yeah, it's stuttering. Interesting. Dream Drop is on this one, as well as 2.8. This is what back cover. So let's just try, let's see how it looks with, sorry, uh, 0 0.2 Birth by Sleep. Now this one is closer to the Kingdom Hearts 3 game in terms of graphics. So let's see how the cloud version can handle it. Now obviously probably your best bet is playing this on LAN, but not everybody has the option to. Like me personally, I don't have too much control over the TV at my house. So I play a lot in Handheld mode, which hopefully, I mean, unless I'm right in front of the router, which is, which is not bad, but not always an option. Get the scene. The great battle with Xehanort is almost upon us. It's okay, you, you can tell there's some slight stuttering. Doesn't look bad. I want to see more as the gameplay. Got a lot of intro scenes. This is it. Oh, could it be? Let's see how it looks. Uh, that's okay. There's some stuttering. Now, like I said, if you're buying this to play handheld mode, I probably would refrain if you're not in front of the TV, I'm sorry, the router. But if you always have this docked and always a wire connected to it, this might be okay. The actual battle. Let's see. Uh, the battle isn't too bad. It's pretty fluid. I think it plays. It plays good enough on for for a cloud version on 50 megabytes down.
Yeah, it's not too bad. And I guess this works if you mostly play LAN and occasionally take it out to play handheld. Alright, so let's move this over to the... Let's move this over to the landline. Alright, so here we are. I'm going to start up Kingdom Hearts 1.5 and 2.5. Now, there won't be any gameplay sound. I had some issues with the audio, so I had to re-record my voice talking about this. I'm just going to fast through, fast through, go through some of these loading screens because it does take some time to load. Now, primarily, I just want to show how this works on Wi-Fi. Like I mentioned before, you have a three three try limit, it looks like. So I wasn't able to retry this again with better audio since I already hit my max. All right, it starts up very similar, pretty much the same to the other version that I have for the PS4 have this for the PS4 and the PC. I am a fan of Kingdom Hearts. I personally have all of the games from the original PS2 to the remakes on the PS4 and, the, and all the DS games. What I don't have is just the PS3 remakes, but those are pretty much the same as the PS4. Yeah, I'm going a little faster here as well. Here we are. This part loads about the same, but it's not perfect. That's why I would have preferred a regular physical version, especially for this one, since we know very well this can handle a PS2 game. If The Witcher can run, this can also run on a physical version. I'm just going to just select things quickly. That way I can just... Go straight into battle, and I can show you all how, what it looks like. As you can tell, it is still a little bit of hiccups here and there. You gotta make your choice. It starts off the same as if the, as in the original. And basic controls. I want you to go over. Okay, let's continue. Now, so far it's running, it's not too bad. This is on Wi Fi. It's running okay. Now, I know there's going to be a lot of people disappointed in the fact that this is not a physical. I, I myself included, I can only state it so many times. There are better ways you can play this. So for anybody who is looking, I guess if you only have the Switch, then you have no other alternative. But if you have a PC that's capable or PS3, PS4, an Xbox, there's so many ways you can play this game without using a cloud version and a stable internet connection. Yeah, so this is all the same. Okay. You're gonna land there. You're gonna have to battle some heartless. That that, that hasn't really changed. So let's just battle a couple couple of heartless, and then we'll move over to the land, which will have sound again. You can see. Okay, it's going. It's going. There we go. That comes a heartless. So the battles, they're fluid. You can work. You can work with it. Like I mentioned, I, the price would need to be a lot lower than this if I was ever to consider buying it. It's kind of hard justifying paying over $30 for something you don't physically own or even at least digitally have it saved on your Switch itself. Okay, everyone. So, you know, we're going to move over to the... Uh, land trial now. Thank you.
Okay, so we're back. As you can see on the top, it shows I am connected to the LAN. Let's just do a quick test. See how the internet speeds are. It still shows me at 75. Wow, so I guess that might be the max. Connected to the landlines. I don't think I'm getting faster than this. Alright, so this is the max. Now let's go uh, give it a shot. Let me try that one. Let's do Kingdom Hearts 3. Keep in mind, you get to try out these demos. Looks like three times before you, uh, before you can now try them again. Saves, skips over some cutscenes. You can uh, just for limited time. Stable permanent internet connection, obviously. Okay, so let's try it out now. Let's see how this goes. Now, in case people don't know, cloud version essentially means you're playing this game on, on a server elsewhere. It's essentially what it is. You're using your internet connection to play it. Kind of like how you use remote play. Remote play plays off of a device such as a PlayStation 4 or something like in that manner. So you're playing, you're playing the game somewhere else, essentially. Let's see. Cutscenes. Okay, let's see how it looks. Uh, it does not look that great. This is not the most ideal way to play this game, in my opinion. Let's see. Uh, it's all right. This is strength one. Sure, why not? Let's see if they let you do some battles.
see if we can get to some type of gameplay. Doesn't really matter too much what I select. It's just a demo. Nothing can be saved over. It's a little better here. good you can still it's not obviously nowhere going to be as good as PlayStation 4 version stuttering right there. Overall, the gameplay would be just fine playing on the Nintendo Switch when you're connected to the internet. At 100%, like landline. Wi-Fi might give you some issues, especially depending on your router. This is where a lot of things come into, come into play. My Asus router is pretty strong so I definitely probably recommend it unless you have a strong router to play to play landline or even if, if you have a regular router and you just get nearby all right everyone thank you for watching the video please leave a like and subscribe I hope everyone enjoyed it thank you very much have a good one